My first topic today is going to be a case for not shaving. Originally when I was listing ideas for videos, I was like, is that weird? Is, Cause some people consider that like a hygiene issue. Is it weird for me to be lecturing people about their hygiene? But no, I, this is something I feel strongly about. So I'm gonna talk about it. As I've already talked about, when you have a chronic illness, you save your spoons. Your spoons are your energy, essentially. they It's kind of like your body's a ticking time bomb until your symptoms are all gonna explode and flare, and your job in your life is to try and keep that ticker from reaching zero, and whatever that means, if that's like sleeping or taking days to yourself or eating, whatever it is, like your job as a chronically ill person is to keep that timer from ticking down. So it's all about cutting out waste. Like where are you wasting energy that you're not getting feedback from? Where are you wasting your energy and putting time where it is not worth it? And to me, one of those things that I found, I, I kind of already knew wasn't my thing, but especially after my spinal surgery, I found I really do not care about shaving. I cannot think of something I have cared about less in the world. So the whole reason shaving is a thing is because I think it was Bic razors, was it Bic razors? I don't know, I'll fact check that and insert if I'm wrong. But uh, some razor company was like, hey, we're not selling enough razors to men. We should find a way to sell these to women. And so they were like, hey women, have you ever noticed how like gross and hairy your legs are? You should shave those puppies. And women were like, oh yeah, you're right. Our legs are disgusting in their natural state. We need to shave them. So whatever your feelings on feminism, that is the facts about how that started. You know, women have hair that grows in their legs and then companies wanted to sell us products to get rid of the hair and we were like, cool, we'll buy those. So you don't need to shave your legs. It's not unhygienic to not shave your legs. Some people just find it gross. Some people don't like the texture. Some people don't like the way it feels. But I think that's because people are used to having shaved legs. I grew up in the same world that everyone else did and I definitely shaved when I first you know, started growing body hair and all of that. And before I even got my diagnosis, I definitely shaved less than most people, but also I'm blonde so like I could kind of get away with it. I do have some darker hair these days, oh god, I don't know if you can see it, it's going to be really bad if I'm filming a video on leg hair and you can't see my leg hair, but that's fine. I definitely shaved at first too and I would feel like really self-conscious if anyone like touched my leg and I hadn't shaved. And I definitely probably didn't shave as often as other people when I was undiagnosed still, but after my surgery, for one thing, I wasn't allowed, I wasn't able to shower on my own. My mom had to help me, which too much information, but also like, I don't recommend it. Sorry, mom, no offense, you give great baths. But, uh, you know, she really wanted to help me shave my legs, and I was like, man, I don't care about shaving my legs. I want to go back to bed. I want, it was actually this chair, I recovered from surgery in this chair, and, uh, and the, when all I wanted was to go back to my bed. That's all I wanted. I did not care about shaving my legs. I honestly can't remember if she ended up shaving my legs or not, but that was when I realized just how little I care about shaving my legs. So after that, and as I was recovering from surgery, I didn't really shave my legs again. And I actually, now that I think I may have shaved my legs once for a party, but it was kind of like, it was one of my first times being out of the brace and one of the first times I was able to shower without my shower brace. It was one of the first times I could. So I wanted to feel like, you know, I wanted to do it so that it wasn't something surgery like took away from me. But after I did it, and as I was doing it, I was like, this is, this takes so long. I am so tired. I do not care. No one in my life cares. This is pointless and it's worthless. So, so yeah, if shaving is something that brings you joy and you love doing it, then great. That's a great use of energy. Use your energy to do things that bring you joy and, you know, Ha let you have a productive life. But shaving your legs is not really a productive activity unless it's something that you legitimately enjoy doing, which based on my conversations with women in my life, not necessarily the case. So do it if you want to, but I don't do it and it has been great not doing it. Everything is less stressful not doing it. And yeah, like 
especially like the the hair towards my and I know you're like it's easier for me to say because I'm blonde and I, I totally acknowledge that but uh your leg hair is natural it is allowed to be there you don't have to waste spoons you don't have trying to get rid of it okay till next time guys hoard those spoons and don't shave your legs <laughs>